Hello, my rubber hearts. We open the season with a very practical skill, how to go from MDR data to cure time. Today, we are continuing to build our technology's toolbox by looking at another essential curve that shows up all the time in the rubber lab, the Mooney Scorch curve. Now, if you remember from season two, we talked about the Mooney viscometer and how it measures viscosity. But today we are going to focus on one very specific use, scorch testing. So what is Mooney Scorch? In simple terms, it's a test that tells us how much safe processing window we have before our compound starts to vulcanize. The Mooney viscometer runs the rubber at a set temperature, usually something like 121 degrees Celsius or 135 degrees Celsius, and records viscosity over time. At first, the viscosity is stable, and then suddenly you see it start to rise. That's scorch. It means cross-linking has started, and if this were happening in your mixer or extruder, you'd be in trouble. The instrument reports values like T5 or T35, which means the time it takes for the viscosity to increase by 5 or 35 units from the baseline. These numbers are not cure times, but they are critical for processing. They tell you whether your compound will survive the mixing, the extrusion, or the molding process without prematurely curing. Here is why this matters in practice. Imagine you are extruding a profile that takes three minutes to run through the line. If your scorch time is only two minutes at processing temperature, that profile is going to scorch and ruin your day. On the other hand, if your scorch time is 10 minutes, you've got plenty of safe margin. But scorch isn't just about avoiding disasters. It's also about balancing cure systems. For example, fast accelerators will lower scorch time, making the rubber cure quickly, but at the risk of processing safety. Slower accelerators or retarding agents will extend scorch time, giving you more safety, but sometimes at the cost of longer cure times. So scorch testing is how you keep both ends of the process under control. Safe handling during mixing and extrusion and proper cure during vulcanization. As a practical example, let's say you are making a compound for injection molding. You want a short cure time to keep cycles fast, but you also need scorch safety so the material doesn't set in the injection barrel. The Mooney scorch curve is your first warning sign. If the T5 is too low, you know you need to adjust your accelerator system. In the end, Mooney scorch testing doesn't tell you how long to cure your compound. It tells you how long you can safely process it before curing even begins. It's like the safety margin in your toolbox. Without it, you are flying blind. And that's when costly mistakes happen. And that's episode 2 of our season 3 toolbox series. Next time, we'll keep adding to our fundamentals with another deceptively simple property hardness testing, but will go much deeper than just pressing a durometer into a sample. Stay tuned, my rubber heart.